Okay, YouTube, this is a Xbox One Advanced Warfare Limited Edition one. Um, making a quick video on it because I just got this thing diagnosed and actually uh, resolved. Um, as you can see, I had to do a factory restore on it. Um, initially, uh, when I started working on it, um, after a power on, uh, you can see it's on, but um, you can actually see a display turning to my HDMI uh, signal it, it just says uh, it just says uh, HDMI no no um, connection or weak signal so I was like okay so it's probably the HDMI HDMI cable so I decided to try it out and hope it's working on my PS4 so I come back here and try to see if it's the actual Xbox system um uh I've worked on it roughly for two three days trying to see which ways actually work um like I said, I've tried different methods I've tried uh uh turning it off as you can see i I'm, I was getting this error code after I actually get in a, a picture so um the the method that i uh tried was um I left the the device powered on cuz I usually when I was checking it I just powered it on when I was couldn't get no picture I powered it off. So um I was like, okay, so I just left it um on after taking a quick break and I left the Xbox on, excuse me, I left this on and I turned off the TV. Uh roughly 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes later um when I came back, like I said the system was still on. And as you can see, um, this was blinking before. Um, I was, and when I came back, it was actually it says connected. So I thought that was strange. So I turned on the TV, and um, it gave me two options. Option one was um, it's something similar, but it would be on the top and bottom, something similar to this. Um, the first option was to restart the system, or uh, do a factory re restore. Um, I decided to do a um, reset, just a soft reset, it's like a cold boot, S something similar to where holding the power button uh, for uh, 10 seconds, which would cu cup, um, pretty much um, like uh, just restart the system without deleting any information. I tried that, um, thought that would fix it, but no, uh, same thing happened. You know, I tried turning it on, no video output. So I decided to re refollow the steps I took to get the, the picture or the, the video output. Uh like I said I turned I I did a, a cold boot. I turned it off and um turned it on and so I left the Xbox on and turned off the T V and I like I said it took about twenty five minutes. Came back and I like I said uh, cause usually when it's when it when it first starts this just keeps blinking because it's not connecting to the system. Um and then when I came back, like I said, it's it's connected, and um, turn on the TV again. And yep, there you go. Like uh, following those steps, uh, I got I actually got a picture again. So this time, instead of doing the reset, I actually did a a restore. Um, once I hit the restore, I didn't know what to expect because uh, it just made this sound like like a like a beep. Or in my case, it was making one of those uh, when it turns on like this special noise it just made that noise and I was like and, and I thought nothing was happening like I tried moving the controller and nothing was happening but uh yeah once it makes that noise it's actually resetting so pay no attention to that once you hear it just wait calmly patiently while it resets um but yeah once once you get once you get it going and if if um if the because you got two options to to restore, the restore one would delete everything, but not the games and not the apps. I tried that the first time. I came back, no, that didn't actually work for me. So on the third try, um, following the same steps, I came back to the to the same screen, but in this time I I restored it to factory settings, deleting everything. And after I deleted everything, um, the 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 Xbox screen logo screen came on and then it says, you know, now input your uh input your um 
your uh I guess your credentials, you know, your uh, settings to to set it up and from there it started working. Uh powered it off, it works, powered it on again, it worked instantly. Uh so in my case I was able to resolve this the situation. Um but like I said I've tried different methods, you know, checking uh or powering it off quickly and whatnot, it just wasn't working. So like I said, I actually ended up just having to leave the device on for 20, 25 minutes with the TV off. Um, I'm not sure if the TV leaving the TV off was necessary, but that's what I t that's what I did. So um, like I said, after coming back 25 minutes later, powering on the TV, sure enough, I got a picture or a video output. Um, so like I said, uh, if, if you don't get one, you most likely have a board issue. So, yeah, like, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, don't you can just leave them right below. I can try to help y'all resolve your your issue. But, um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.